going to investigate fungi and we're looking at one of the five kingdoms and looking at kingdom fungi you've got the uh, main contributors to it including uh, lichens on the far end which aren't true fungi but a symbiotic combination of fungi and algae so we're looking at the chytrids, most are unicellular, and uh, you've got diagrams showing them on uh, different structures. Then the moulds, bread mould, strawberry mould here, and many live off decaying matter. And there are the sac fungi, morel mushrooms, uh, baker's yeast, and the largest of the phylum of fungi. And club fungi, these have the gills. Uh, the edible mushrooms are in this class, but mm. so are poisonous ones. Don't eat wild mushrooms. Mm. And the lichen, again, very slow growing, not true mm. fungi. And some words to uh, look up mm. for your glossary. So we're going to look at the physiology of, a mu of mushrooms uh, and here we're looking at the gill mushrooms so the small one on the left is an emerging infant mushroom and then the others uh, are fully mature and the one on the right is a cross section so the first thing we do is look at the caps and uh, there is a skin that has been flapped up at one portion and there is a little frill that comes down at the bottom of the cap and in the uh, immature mushroom on the left uh, those are protecting the emerging mushroom as it grows up and then you can see the gills particularly in the center large one underneath the cap and see the attachment where the stem uh, goes into the cap and here we have a ring um, on the stem of the mushroom and this is where the the frill was attached as the mushroom was was growing so we're going to do a dissection and look more closely at the mushroom so we're going to do a, a club fungi group and here are some uh, pre-lab questions for you to research so pause on this slide to answer those three questions and go back to them once you've done your dissection, once you've learned more about them as well. So uh, safety, uh, general biology life science safety, um, buy mushrooms, uh, don't collect uh, wild mushrooms, many are poisonous. Uh, care with your sharp instruments and um, uh, leave them at one side of the dissecting tray when you're not in use and pick them up by the handle. So leave uh, all your protective gear on until after the end of the cleanup uh, because you have biological samples and once all of those around you have cleared up you wash your hands. So this is the uh, material list so you can pause and look at what material is actually needed. And the first thing is to look very carefully at the whole mushroom and draw a careful sketch of it which shows as much of mushroom as possible and as much detail. And you're going to remove the cap uh, and describe how easy it was uh, or difficult to separate and then remove the the skin at the top of the cap. 
So you're going to cut the cap into quarters and you're going to look at the cut edge and on one quarter you're going to count the number of gills and you can use a seeker uh, mounted needle in order to help you do that. And uh, you're counting the gills, they're made up of uh, hyphae which support the basidia and each gill has about 1500 basidia and each basidium has four spores. So you're going to calculate how many spores per mushroom. You've counted the gills, you're told how many basidia per gill, and you're told how many spores per basidia. Going to look more closely, use a lens and uh, look at the detail to see if you can see the spores, basidia, and indeed low power of a uh, microscope and describe the hyphae as well. So clean up, again, keep your protective gear on, throw away the material uh, very carefully and uh, put your dissecting tools um, uh, where you need to. So you're going to uh, look at four different uh, types of fungi uh, for each, include the phylum name, its common name, and a description of the mushroom type in that phylum. And uh, you can pause and enlarge this to see a summary of the activity. Uh, so you have yours drawn. Am I missing anything? You're missing the label for what Richard just said. Richard, repeat the structure. Yeah, the scale? Oh, scales. Uh, wait, right here? Oh, yeah, sorry. I, it's not my lab. Richard, I can't where, where answer that question. Please. Huh? It's, the to it's on the uh, right here. It's like yeah, but you scales. haven't had them drawn, so you need to get them drawn. There okay. you go. Much better. Oh, gosh. So this is crazy. You want drawn? Qualitative uh, observation. I I don't know. I so guess what can you tell me about them? That they break more Wait, easy. Want, um, easier as a what? They break easier vertically than horizontally. Okay, that's an excellent observation that you can write down. Excellent, excellent observation. Wait, what do you want to raise from here? Where do I write that? I would do that, but uh, uh, I, already, I already wrote that. Okay, did you get at least three observations? Read your very stringy and flexible. Of what? Stems. They make up the stem. Oh, I just shot that. Layers. Strain. Strands, very good. Strands or what else? String. <laughs> String or little bitty, like little bitty hairs, filaments, things like that. That's what you need to put in your. Careful. Don't be so nervous, it's fine. We're going to train so hard for this, okay. <laughs> I really have. I want to put my best work. I mean, it's just easier to do it with your fingers. Oh, uh, you can do that too. Yeah, I mean, like... that's so much easier. You mess it up. Okay. So you have your gills now. How would you? Let's talk it out. How would you all estimate the number of gills that are there? You. So I'd get like one side, and I'd see how many gills are on that one side, and then see. Like how many sections? Yeah. Yeah, you could do your. Use our little handy dandy magnifying <laughs> glass. So put that in there. Under. Under, under buddy. Under. You see how the gills are a little bit bigger? Let's turn it that way. 47, 48, 49, 50. You got 50. All right. So here's another. And um, name uh, the mushroom parts that are here. Again, you can pause it to name these. And then you're going to look at the importance of, of mushrooms. Uh, research that. And here it shows you to do a graphic organizer with six uh, useful reasons for, uh, that the mushrooms have. Um, now, a little bit deeper, uh, compare the digestion in fungus or fungi and humans. So are there any structures that are similar? What's producing the digestive enzymes? And 
where are the digestive organs? So list the, the similarities. On the next slide here, you'll see a bit about mushroom digestion. And from what you know of human digestions, digestion, you can uh, write down what you, what you know. Then you're going to look at the life cycle of a mushroom and again pause this to see the different stages. Compare it to uh, the physiology that we were looking at at the beginning and this one here is the uh, uh, one with, with the gills, the club fungus uh, and some detail. Um, now write a description of the life cycle of the club fungus. You may have to go back to the previous one if you didn't take in enough detail. So pause at this point to complete that activity. And then we've got two types here. Uh, we've got uh, the morel mushroom and the club fungus and look uh, carefully, enlarge the uh, the diagrams to see what's the same and what is different. Uh, larger diagram here and a close-up of the spores on the uh, morel mushroom. And a little bit of an extra, uh, if you've got a ripe fully open mushroom and you don't want to be handling wild mushrooms in this way, so it, it has to be one, one that you bought. Uh, fully ripe, uh, uh, take off the stem and just put the cap gill downwards on a piece of paper and if it is indeed fully ripe you will get a spore pattern on the paper afterwards. And here we have the answers, the uh, labeling of the diagram and again pick up any of the ones that you weren't sure about uh, as you labeled your diagram. And with many thanks to Washington International School Team Science Grade 9 Biology class with Miss Candelora. Thank you.